turn that off or I'm going to drain the battery here. Oh, everybody wants to go fast. Yo, what is up guys? Duke of DC here. Welcome to another video and today we are doing a very quick walk around and I'm going to turn on the electronics and maybe start the bike of the 2017 Aprilia Tuono RF. This is the factory model. This has everything. It's got the Olins. It's got the M50s. It has the brand new TFT display, which I just got like a little baby walkthrough of. Um, this bike is at Lamoto, which is the Aprilia dealership, Piaggio Group dealership in Arlington, VA. So come check it out because this is the only one they have right now. They're going to get more, so don't worry if you've placed an order. And uh, But this one is uh, ownerless, I believe. So first thing you might be noticing is... Uh, this bigger different exhaust system among many other things uh, this is you know the first euro 4 emissions exhaust that Aprilia has put out and uh, I heard the startup we started up a little bit ago and I might be able to do that for you now in the video It doesn't sound great. I'll give it that. I mean, it's meeting a certain emissions regulation. Obviously, if you're going to buy this bike, I would say something uh, like a Project SC or Thunder Slash or an Akrapovich would surely take care of the noise because this V4 makes a ridiculous noise. And if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you know that I owned the baby brother of this, the Aprilia Tuono V4R uh, from two years ago, a 2015 model, before they did the 1100cc and uh, before they started releasing factory editions of the Tuono. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, genuinely, I've already owned an Aprilia and a Tuono. I've been very fortunate, but this is just a step in the right direction. Up, down, quick shifter. Let's turn on this TFT display real quick. Awesome. I wasn't a huge fan when I heard that they were going to TFT, but uh, after just looking at it briefly, it's ridiculously crisp. I mean, all of the information is readily available for you. If I'm looking at that right, this is a lean angle sensor. I had no idea that it was going to have one of those. It also has a braking sensor, ready for that, and a throttle sensor. Boom, ready for that. So this thing is like stacked with technology this year. Uh, of course, the same fully adjustable traction control. It's got rider modes. It has uh, ABS. It's got wheelie control. It has, um, gosh, everything. Does it have cruise control? It does. Cruise control as well. A pit mode. This is actually a huge competitor now to the BMW S1000R in terms of creature comforts. And yet, I would say, unequivocally, this is the racier bike. This is most certainly the bike that is going to uh, feel more connected when you're on a track, feel more connected when you're ripping through the canyons, and uh, have just firmer everything. <laughs> but not in a bad way, necessarily. You do have Olin's front and rear. It is fully adjustable, but not electronic. It's uh, all manual. God, it feels good. feels really good. The riding position is comfortable. It uh, reminds me almost identically of my Tuono. So I know that they have changed some ergos on this. The seat is changed. Uh, the handlebars are in a little bit different position. The steering rake and whatnot and the dimensions of the bike are a little bit different. But all in all, it feels pretty close to what my Tuono felt like. I have literally no flipping idea what anything does. Okay, I remember that this is the mode button once the bike is started. So this would change your modes if it's the same. And then horn. God forbid I press that in here. Okay. Oh, there we go. So you've got your APRC settings. Oh, shoot. Your shift light, lap timer, APRC config. ABS on, so you have ABS switchable on off if you wanted to. Um, it still has the traction control toggles right here. I don't know if you can see that. A plus on this side and a minus on that side, which is probably one of the coolest features on Aprilia's, uh, specifically because you can adjust it ridiculously easy, easily on the move. Um, 
This has a pit limiter. Pit control off, pit speed 37. I'm assuming that once, uh, if you hold down this pit button, it would limit you in whatever gear you're in, probably first gear, uh, to 37 miles per hour. Cruise control is the left headlight switch. Okay, so something here is cruise control. Let's go up, no, let's exit out of this. Let's go to APRC settings. Look at this. <laughs> ABS, traction control, wheelie control, launch control, and then quick shift? You can turn the quick shifter off? Why in God's name would you want to do that? <laughs> I guess you can. Eight modes of traction control, three modes of launch control, three modes of wheelie control, and I believe it was three modes of ABS as well. How do I... Oh, and then you just hit the plus? Yeah. Yeah, three modes of ABS. So as you can see, this is a guy who has no idea what he's doing, figuring out uh, the logistics of the electronics in like two minutes. So they're very uh, user-friendly. One of the coolest features that I like adored on the S1000RR is that lean angle sensor. Really, really cool. Let's get up front and see. You've got this cool LED piece on the front there. I'm sure that uh, one of these is a daytime running light when uh, you actually have the bike running. I think the RF comes with, yep, those are forged wheels, front and rear. Um, one of the other things that they were telling me here at Lamoto that I think is amazing is that uh, all of the new Tuonos come with clutch case covers and, if I'm not mistaken, if this is the stator, stator case, oil case, Anyway, covers on both sides of the bike. That's absolutely ridiculous. That is so awesome that it comes standard. I actually think that might be the first manufacturer to send their bikes out with crash protection uh, in this model, right? Super Nakeds. Obviously, adventure bikes come with crash bars, but I don't know if I've ever seen a Super Naked with... Uh, covers built on. Thank you guys for watching so much. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this. Obviously very preliminary. I will be taking one of these out for a test ride as soon as they get a demo bike as well as the RSV4 RF which there's a 2016 model sitting gorgeously right there. Um, but of course that is not the new bad boy is it? No it's not. Of course not. Uh, or else I would be over there drooling on it. <laughs> Subscribe if you are new, and as always, guys, I will see you on the next one. Peace.